U.S. President Donald Trump has defended his trade war with China. In a series of tweets, Mr. Trump said a deal will be made when the time is right and promised that that could be soon. He praised his, re his respect and friendship with President Xi Jinping as unlimited, but stressed the deal must be great for the United States. Mr. Trump claimed many companies are leaving China. In his latest salvo, Mr. Trump also predicted that Beijing will be pumping money into their system and a rate cut will be imminent to make up for the business it's losing. He said all the Fed needs to do is to follow suit and the U.S. will win the trade war. He also encouraged American firms to shift their businesses away from China to avoid tariffs. Just last night, Beijing announced tariffs on $60 billion worth of U.S. tariffs uh, in or U.S. goods in the retaliation to Washington's own hike last week. Mr. Trump said he will speak to President Xi on the sidelines of the G20 summit. China also said both sides have agreed to keep the talks going, helping to inject some calm into the markets. But is Mr. Trump's prediction correct? China will uh, could uh, come up with, in fact, more retaliatory measures. Uh, Dr. Dan Wang from the Economist Intelligence Unit explains what Beijing could impose uh, more th than tariffs or dump U.S. Treasuries in a bid to punish the U.S. We think that um, there is still some uh, window of opportunity before June um, for some sort of a deal to come out. Um, but in terms of retaliation, besides tariffs, actually, What's, uh, what's going to be more effective would be the non-tariffs um, barrier in terms of uh, are issuing visa to the U.S. visitors and uh, uh, more inspections and slow issuance of licenses for U.S. companies. So overall, China still have a lot of tools in its toolbox, but just uh, dumping the U.S. treasuries is not one of them for a simple reason, because it's closely tied to the valuation of the yuan. If the central bank dump certain amount of the U.S. treasuries, it has to write off an equivalent amount from its liability, which is in terms of RMB. And that's the same thing as a money contraction. So if that happens, that will pose a huge revaluation pressure on RMB, which is not desirable for the central bank to see. Wall Street stocks opened in the green today, with the Dow Jones and S&P 500 index gaining at least 0.5%. It's a sharp contrast from Asian markets today, which continued to extend the past day's sell-off after China's tariff retaliation. Hong Kong played catch-up today after reopening following a public holiday. It led the declines by a falling 1.5%. Uh, in China, the Shanghai Composite rattled a 2, shedding 0.7%. Meanwhile, in Tokyo, the Nikkei also seeing red. It posted a modest decline of over half a percent. Back home, the STI also in the red at 0.03%. Uh,